There I was, minding my own business, trying to go to work. Lord, Lord help us. Did the world go to shit today? And now I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm driving and next thing I know, I mean, there is just this awful smell. And I'm like, oh Lord, have I shit my pants? Have I, has it got to that point and I just don't know it? What's going on? Am I really crazy? Who knows? I'm, I'm genuinely concerned because this ain't, this is, this is shit. This is, this is shit. I'm, I'm on a little country road and, and plainest day there used to be shit in the air. Not cow shit. Nope. Not gas. Nope. Nope. It's straight up human freaking feces. So, I'm getting a little disgusted by all this. I'm thinking about calling my friend that lives in the town and asking her why her town smell like shit. So anyway, I'm a little annoyed and I'm trying to get to work and, and uh, the, uh, the guy in front of me is driving like, well, yeah, as Ron White says, slower than the speed of smell. Uh, literally. So I get to looking, I'm like, what is this jerk off's problem anyway? And I'm looking and, and it's like this old, like, stupid car and it's got like a trailer on it with a bunch of white barrels, right? And oh, I guess it was precious cargo because my, he was driving so slow with it. Well, I get to looking at this year precious cargo and I get to noticing a distinct brown color on the side of these said white barrels. And this brown color on the side of these white barrels was the kind of color that really only comes from one or two things. Um, you know, when Bob Ross wanted to whip out some burnt umber or when somebody rubs, you know, feces on the side of a white barrel. So anyway, I'm like, oh God, I've been following slow turds this whole way, wondering why stuff stinks. So the dude finally pulls over and instantly the smell's gone. So I'm like, okay, well that confirmed that that was dead. not that I had any doubt whatsoever. But my real question is, my real, real concern about this whole thing is, because this, this is some little old, little old country dude, whatever, and, and this some like super brat or something pulling a like old army trailer you know this was not a professional operation by any means so did this guy like buy a bunch of barrels of crap at a yard sale this morning or why why is this dude transporting barrels of crap for at least an hour is he taking it home? What? What's? Where's this crap going? And why wasn't it good enough where it was at? Could you not find somewhere to put it there? I mean, I do, but I don't want to know more about this. Weird. Okay. Glad we had this time.